trying to find hidden gems in Football Manager for you wonder kids you can pick up for a fairly cheap price. Every single one of these is also under 1 million, like one of my other videos. So make sure you do go and check out the other content on the channel as we help you play Football Manager 2023. My name is Paul Olsen on the North Man. If you are new here, please go down and hit that subscribe button and check out my other content like my Let's Play series, The Builder Nation with AB. I'm absolutely loving creating content at the minute and hopefully you guys are going to follow me on this journey. So we have five players at the start of the save here we're going to look at. A couple of them appear in a couple of the shortlists that I'm putting together, so make sure you are aware of that. So the first one is Nathaniel Nwusu. He is a goalkeeper who we really do like in this game. 16 years old, Nigerian. Very talented, 6 foot tall when you start. Value between 45 and 140k when you start. And um, I think you can pick him up for around that price. And at 16 years old, 6 foot tall already. Um, he's decent and he should be someone you are looking to sign. The next one is Seydou Traore, Ivorian, 17 years old, valued between 110 and 325k, playing in Africa, and he is a player I think you need to pick up. He looks very, very talented. Um, his contract is from now at the end of the season one as well, so you could maybe monitor him and see if you want to pick him up on a free. But he looks very, very good. So the next one is Mario Tuduce. He's Romanian, playing in Benfica. Now, he didn't come through the academy. He came through an academy in Romania. But he looks really, really talented. He's been in Benfica for two years, so you can sign him. He's not going to say, no, I've just come. Um, he's six foot two at the age of 17, so he's only going to grow a little bit taller. Really, really good player. One I definitely think you should be picking up, 100%. The next one, playing in Portugal also. Now, technically, he disappoints me. He's an Angola player. Strength of only one. Work rate and teamwork of two and four, respectively. That disappoints me. But he is like the outside-the-box one I'm looking at. Only 16 years old. Value between 275k and 800k. And... I think it's worth a punt, in my opinion, for that one. And the final player, playing over in Serbia, valued between 350k and 1 million. I mean, for a 16-year-old, wow. He's six foot three at 16. I mean, I'm only five foot seven, and I'm 35, um, unfortunately. I mean, the hair's going. It, it's, we, we're getting on a bit. We're getting on a bit. We probably need to move on from that. You start to make me feel bad. I'm getting old, all right? I can accept it. Sign him. He's, he looks decent, doesn't he? Uh, let's jump forward and see how these guys are developing after a few years of the AI being in control. So here we are now on value order. And disappointingly, it looks like one of the ones I said might be worth a punt hasn't developed how we would hope. But as I always say in my videos, I'm not showing you the ones who are guaranteed to be the best ever. You need to put the work in. And maybe if you sign this guy and develop him, he could develop into a decent creative player. You don't know. Um, he has some good attributes. He definitely has attributes which maybe he could be created into something. I mean, if you like Loki Doki and you only sign an Angola or Portuguese players, then this is the one for you. But he's not the worst. He's not the worst. Let's say not. Let's let's move on to the other four, shall we? Because the other four. I think I've picked you some gems. So the first one, Seydou Traore is now playing in Elche in Spain. He went to Portugal for 250k. He's now just moved on for 575k. He's a very, very good striker and definitely one who I think we've picked a good one here. So comment below if you've had him before because I think he's a good player. I do. And um, valued what was it? 1.6 million to 4.8 million. So there's profit there. Uh, Mario Tuduce, he's not actually played for Benfica apart from two times. He's been playing for their B team. He has gone back on loan to Romania for Cluj. Um, now a B team regular who is in the Portugal second division. But when you look at him, 23 years old now, 
1.6 million of 4.9 million value. Two caps for Romania. He is a very solid player. And I feel like if I was, as a human manager, not the AI, if I was in control of him, I could develop him into something very special. So worth picking up, in my opinion, definitely. If you can remove the avoid Jews and weak, weaker foot trait because you don't want them to panic and be on the wrong foot as a defender. The next one we're going to look at then is um, Milosevic. Nailed it. He's still playing in Serbia. He's still playing in Serbia. He's got 46 in 112, just under 1 in 2. But attribute-wise, he's insane. He's on 4.5k a week, valued between 1.9 million and 5.6 million. So if you can get him out of Serbia, his value is only going to go up and up and up. But two caps for Serbia. I'm shocked that he's not left yet. Now, he is wanted by um, Osevic, Osevic, who are Croatian, I think, and Marseille. So, he does look like he's probably on the move, but I'm actually shocked he's still in Serbia. And the final one, Nwusu, has ended up at Porto, um, played a few games for the B team, dotted around being on loan, um, actually moved to Porto to um, Guimaraes. Played a few seasons for them, went on loan to be sad um, before being sold for 2.7 million to Polo's B team. So they do believe in him. Value between 2 and 6 million. I think we've pieced together five very talented, unknown wonder kids who have the potential, the ability that if you as a manager get hold of him, you could develop him into something very special. Comment below if you've signed any of them. Comment below if you've seen them in your save do anything good. I've been Paul Osnon, some Northman, the Mothman. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I mean, that, that Serbian guy, I think, is quite decent. Like, I honestly think he could be a top, top striker if developed right.